Hello, ladies. Anyway, um, my name is Jessica. I did have a YouTube channel up before, but um, I guess I just really didn't have much time to really post a lot of videos at the time. I was really busy, you know, juggling around my life with two little kids. Um, anyway, so if you guys like, you can go ahead and subscribe under my channel. Um, in this channel, I'm going to be talking about a lot of shit. I'm going to be talking especially about weight loss because as you can see, my ass needs to lose some pounds. And I'm also going to be talking about makeup, uh, hair. I'm going to be doing a lot of shit on here. So if you really want to see a lot of shit, then go ahead and subscribe at the bottom. Um, so the reason I'm making this channel today is because I am about to be starting another weight loss journey um, to make my story short. Um, I've been battling with weight all my freaking life. Um, before I met my son's father, I was in a relationship for eight years. Um, I had my oldest son, he's 12 now, and I gained a lot of weight with him. I gained about 90 pounds with my son. I was like about 198, 190 I think I was during that time. And then after having him, I was at my heaviest as 280. And um, anyway, I went through a lot of issues with his dad. We had a lot of problems and then we finally parted. I began to really take care of myself. I started to lose weight again. I started focusing more on my life and getting my shit together. Um, so anyway, uh, then I finally dropped back down to like 238 when I met my husband now. And... Um, Later on, things went pretty fast. You know, when you do to do, you're going to get pregnant. Um, so I had my baby girl. And when I had her, I really didn't gain much weight. I went up to like about 260. But what the was, what the was, what the hell is that? Anyway, the bitch was that killed me was the freaking birth control shop. <clears throat> so let me tell you, ladies, the best, the best, what the fuck is wrong with me? I can't even talk today. The best birth control method is condoms, okay? Fucking condoms, because birth control doesn't fucking work. I got pregnant with two of my kids, with my two boys, on birth control. Anyway, so I got on the depot shot, and I gained 30 fucking pounds on that shot. Excuse my French, I curse a lot. Um, I gained 30 pounds on that shot, and um, it made me eat like a freaking pig. So again, I went back up to 280. Then, when I decided to start losing weight again, uh, it was a year later after having my daughter, bam, I found out my ass is pregnant again. And that's when I'm talking about that I was taking the birth control pills. I had no idea. I was feeling sick. My husband is like, babe, you should go ahead and get a test. I already know you. You've been too sick. Something is wrong with your ass. I'm like, I'm not fucking, I'm not pregnant. Hell no, I'm not pregnant. So then my husband goes to Jules and gets me a pregnancy test. When he comes back, I go, I pee on it. To my surprise, I came out the bathroom freaking crying my ass off because I was pregnant. So I found out that I was already three months pregnant. Yeah. And, um... After having my baby, through my pregnancy, I went through a lot of shit because I was so overweight. Um, being overweight and getting pregnant is the worst thing of your life. Um, so I began to feel really sick. I hardly could walk. I couldn't even walk a block down because my sciatic nerve was killing me because I was so heavy and the baby was hitting my nerve. And it was just so depressing. It was a lot of shit. And I just, I couldn't live like that. So I spent half of my whole... Um, eight months, nine months of pregnancy because I had on my 38 weeks. I developed blood pressure issues. I had to be put on blood pressure medication while I was pregnant. I lived in the hospital more than I lived at home because they were afraid that I was going to develop preeclampsia. And it was just freaking hell. Anyway, after I had them, then I went to my one week post-up because I had a C-section because I also had a tubal ligation. Um, yeah, tubal ligation. I don't think I've ever signed a paper so happy in my life when they told me are you sure you want to tie your tubes uh bitch yeah i want to tie my tubes i ain't fucking having no more kids okay no i am not gonna keep ruining my damn body i love my babies three is more than enough for me so yeah anyway back to the subject i quickly fall off the subject anyway so i went up to 330 pounds 
and that was so fucking depressing dude i was crying my ass off i looked at myself in the mirror and i'm like bitch how the hell did you let yourself get this big like how you were never like this so reality really set in because you know when you look at yourself in the mirror you're really like oh i look good blah 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 bullshit you know when reality hits when someone takes a fucking picture of you and then you look at it for the first time that's when reality hits so my mom took a picture of me in the park with my child. I'm going to see if I find the picture and I'm going to go ahead and post it on here so you know what I'm talking about. And when I saw that picture, I wanted to cry. I was just like, this is not Jessica. Like, how the hell did you let yourself go like this? Like, how? I mean, you went from always looking nice, dressing nice, to now looking practically like an old lady because I really didn't even care about myself no more. And I was like, no, you're not going to be like this no more. So anyway, my mom got me a Nutribullet. I decided to put it to use. Um, I was sleeping at night and I started developing sleep apnea. Um, if you guys don't know what sleep apnea is, is when you sleep at night and you're, you just stop breathing, in other words. And it cuts oxygen to your brain and it's very dangerous. Um, and if they do diagnose you with uh, you know, sleep apnea, then you have, to sleep. you have to sleep at night with a CPAP machine to help you get that oxygen to your brain. Um, so, so yeah, I started developing, I remember sleeping like four times. I felt burning in my throat and I felt my throat close up and I couldn't breathe for the love of me. And I remember telling my husband, I feel like I'm going to die. I'm going to die at a young age. So anyway, I began to use the Nutribullet. I began to do me a bunch of healthy fruit, uh, smoothies. I began to drop weight slowly. A month later, I was already at 300. I decided to try something different because my body was kind of like getting used to the same routine. And I decided to do Zumba. So when I did Zumba, I went down to about 275. And then I decided to go into the ACG diet. I don't know if you guys heard of that. It's drops that go under your tongue. Um, so yeah, I did the ACG diet and then I dropped down all the way to 238 again and it was amazing i was feeling good i was energetic i had all this energy for my babies i began to dress nice i went from a size 24 in pants to a size 16 i am still a 16. um but then i started my prerequisites for my nursing um i decided to go back to school now for nursing i love nursing i'm in the medical field i love it so because of school now I'm going through a lot of stress, you know, with the classes, the studying, the kids. I work part-time in the evening hours, you know, from like 4 to 8. But still, it's like a whole day nonstop. So I began to get stressed. And now I put on like about, I would say almost 20 pounds. Um, I am at 267, 265. But pretty much that's water weight because I'm about to get my period. And you know how you girls get, when you're about to get your period, you're getting a good 5 pounds of water. Anyway. So I talked to my doctor and we decided that it was okay for me to go ahead and take Phentermine. So she started me off at 15 milligrams um, to try to help me control my appetite now that I'm starting school or whatnot. We're starting at the low dosage because in my dad's side of the family, there is heart issues, um, a history of heart problems. So we decided to go with the safe side and do 15 milligrams. So we decided to go with the 15 milligrams for now. Um, I don't recommend this for everyone. If you do have issues with blood pressure, anxiety, and stuff like that, uh, you should really talk to your doctor about getting this prescription first before anything. They do do EKG tests and they do a bunch of work up on you to make sure that you are safe and you're healthy enough to take this type of prescription. Um, so far, I took it for one week, but then I stopped because I wasn't really feeling the whole diet thing. But now I am really gonna go back on this. I am going to try my best to eat as healthy as I can. Um, but it is, um, it does suppress your appetite. I did notice that. The first day I kind of got scared because I felt numbing on my left arm, but it's just a little side effect when you first take it, but then it goes away. Um, but yeah, seriously, if you want Phentermine, I did lose 30 pounds on this, like about maybe five, six years ago when I tried it. Um, it's the shit. It works. I did do 37.5 milligrams. It was the highest dose. But I'm going to go ahead and take it for the full month and see how that goes. I will keep you guys updated with my weight on a weekly basis. And yeah, so subscribe to my channel and get ready for all the things that I have to show you guys. Bye. All right, ladies. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my current weight. Mommy, I'm trying. 
So 267.6. Well, damn. That's a lot of weight. Anyway, I will update you guys next week with my current weight. Bye.